Okay. A uh, quick little anime update that's not One Piece related, essentially what I've been watching. So um, I have watched the first episode of Hell's Paradise. Um, basically start this because TikTok told me to. And I do not regret it. This was wonderful, beautiful animation. I love ninjas. Uh, the main character, Gabimaru, I think. Um, white hair ninja refuses to die but wants to die. And it was so well done. I love how like strong he is. And they're trying all these different methods of execution and none of them is working. He's like, I'm not trying to resist your execution. You're all just so weak though. It's wonderful. Um, I am absolutely... Is this, should I say the spoil? I mean, slight spoilers, I guess, or spoilers for episode one. Um, he is, he was in an arranged marriage to the head of the clan's daughter. They got married. He fell in love. He thought he would become weak, wanted to go live a normal life with her. His dad, or yeah, I guess father-in-law said no, had him betrayed. And he's just like, I love my wife. I want to live a good life with her. So I refuse to die and I'm going to accept this person's possible pardon. So find the elixir of life, go to hell to get it. And I think hell is going to have lots of flowers, apparently, or people are going to turn into flowers. I got no sweet clue what this anime is about, but I'm all for it because the stoic, hollow man with supposedly no emotions, and now all he wants is to take care of his wife. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I love the powers. It's gorgeous. I, I got nothing else to say. It's just very pretty, and I'm excited to see where the story goes. All right. And I have finished season four of uh, Bungo Stray Dogs, which may very well be fast approaching to being my new favorite anime of all time just for how much I love these characters. I love these characters so, so much. So Bungo Stray Dogs, you got gangs, you got detectives, you got politics, you got police agencies and government agencies. It's wonderful. I love it. I love the supernatural powers. And I do have a minor complaint for season four essentially previously all the seasons have wrapped up nicely to be a complete story arc whereas season four left on a very large cliffhanger that I did not appreciate however we have gotten word that season five will be continuing this year so I can't tell you how excited I am for that I really need to read the manga um I do want to keep this one a little bit more vague because I kind of just want a bunch of people to watch Bungo Stray Dogs and I don't really want to spoil anything and I'll definitely talk about spoilers when I read the manga. So uh, you have one of my darling loves in prison for choices and is wonderful and you have my other darling lo loves on the uh, on the run and then you have betrayal, you have trauma, you have tragedy, standout characters, all of them, literally all of them. We get backstory on Rampo. We get backstory on um, Tashihara. Sorry, I forgot his name. I didn't learn his name till the end of it. I just called him Bandage Nose Guy. We got backstory on uh, Yosano and I, I'm obsessed with all of them. One of these people betrayed me and I was furious, but then I'm like, it's Bungo Stray Dogs. I can't hate you. And of course now I realize what's going on and I love you even more. Um, I didn't think I could love Yusano more, um, Yosano, but she, she, she's, she's wonderful. She was wonderful in the first three seasons and now season four, she really shines. Uh, Rampo is obviously a delight. Uh, Ben Dazai, you have Dazai doing something so incredibly reckless. And let's keep in mind, this man has purposely put himself in the line of fire, knowing he was going to get shot in order to get information before. Um... And now he's in this situation where I don't want to give spoilers for what's happening this season because not many people I think that watches my videos watches this and I want them to watch it. Um, what can I say without spoiling Bungo Stray Dogs completely? When you thought things could not possibly get worse for characters you love more than anything else, things get worse. When you think more trauma couldn't happen, more trauma happens. When you think we have a plan to get ourselves out of trouble, the plan backfires. And then you get this little sliver of hope and then it's over and I need season five. That is my review of season four is I need season five. I love this series so, so very much.
All right, and the final anime that I've been watching is Buddy Daddies. I really enjoyed the majority of this. It is now concluded. I don't think we're getting a season two, and I feel robbed that we're not getting a season two. We will get to that in a moment. Essentially, you have two hitmen, Kazuki and Rei. They have um, essentially kidnapped slash adopt informally a child from one of their former targets. So they killed her father and now are raising her. Her mother is in the picture eventually, and yeah, they're balancing their life as a hitman with daycare and field trips and making lunches and going back to school shopping. So I liked when the little girl caused havoc and messed up their missions. I liked when we just spent time with them not knowing how to raise a child. It, it, it was a good dynamic. Kazuki is clean and cooking and all that kind of stuff. Ray likes his video games and it was just a nice dynamic that was working very well. And I think if it stayed like that for the majority of the season, I, I would have liked it more. We're getting into heavy spoilers right now. What happens is it turns into a mafia family feud drama with Ray's family because they want him back. So they're going to take out every one he knows and all his connections because then he'll have nowhere to turn and come back to them and I felt things felt very 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 forced so essentially Marie Mary's mom comes back after they one of their other people that they work with learns about a hit put on by the uh, Ray's family to kill her and figured she'd be safe if she just left and went with the mom. And the mom, who had previously turned her away and threw her out, is now dying of some type of cancer in the throat, which took away her ability to sing, which is really all she cared about. Realizes the importance of family, turns over a new leaf, becomes a good mom, and only to then be killed by the assassin sent after her and her daughter. Uh, which means, oh, we can now safely put Miri back with Kazuki and Rei. And then they're like, oh, well, let's just go kill all Ray's family. And they go attack all the bodyguards. And that's all cleared up in like half an episode. And then they have to talk to the dad, who's the big boss, and is just like, you need me because I'm a good hitman assassin guy? Well, um, I'm too good. I'm not going to kill you, even though I just killed all these other people. So let me just like shoot my arm, cause nerve damage, and now I'm not a good assassin. So you have no use to me anymore. So you're not going to take revenge for reasons. I, I don't know what those reasons are. Like you would think it would be the pride of the matter at this point. But nope, just, just let me go and live my life with my not boyfriend and adopted daughter. We're just going to go open a cafe and she's now in high school because we had a time jump. And I was robbed of them struggling and running a cafe and a business and probably rival gangs or someone doing something in the neighborhood that they had to use their old talents to take care of. Like we could have had another three or four or five seasons of them running a business and a coffee shop and I why was I robbed from that why why did we have a time jump I could have taken five more seasons minimal minimal um but I did I did like the the preference on fan family obviously I really enjoyed this I just the ending felt rushed and forced and I, I wish I wish we got more that's my only complaint I wish we got more that's all I got bye